Greetings, my name is Bill Bull. Thank you for considering the Fisher for your program. I'd love to show you the property. Let's take a tour. Welcome to the Pfister Hotel. Built in 1893, the Pfister has been a Milwaukee icon for well over a century. As one of the Midwest's premier luxury hotels, it continues to celebrate a grand tradition of gracious service and impeccable style. The Pfister Hotel is a member of both Historic Hotels of America and Preferred Hotels and Resorts. Right now we are standing in the original structure. You'll notice the mural on the ceiling, which was originally a glass atrium. The word salve that you see See there is used throughout the hotel to mean a hearty welcome and a fond farewell. It is also the name of our associates lounge. As we walk through the property, pay special attention to the Victorian artwork. Most of the pieces are original to the building and we boast the largest collection of any hotel in the world. The artwork was specifically purchased by hotel patriarch Guido Pfister and has never been displayed anywhere other than the walls of this hotel. Let's make our way down the stairs and begin with the well spa and salon where you can can relieve stress and relax just steps away from your guest room. Home to the Fister's Turkish baths more than a century ago, this luxurious personal suite spa redefines the spa experience. Each treatment suite has its own personal bathroom and shower with a wealth of amenities including heated floors, robes, and personal iPod docks or satellite music, plus your choice of aromatherapy and adjustable temperature settings for the room and treatment table. Our full-service salon includes professional haircuts and color, hair and eyelash extensions, special occasion hair, airbrush makeup, and a myriad of nail services, all provided by Milwaukee's most talented artists. Just up the staircase here is the first of our many meeting spaces. We invite you inside the Executive Conference Room, an elegant space for smaller gatherings and a prime location right off the main lobby. Back downstairs is our lobby lounge, where guests can relax in a comfortable environment throughout the day. We open the lobby lounge bar in the evenings and feature live entertainment nightly. The music fills the lobby and provides a great place to network with colleagues or mingle with friends. You'll notice the fireplace. It is original to the hotel, as well as many other features we'll see going forward. Just across the way, we have the Rouge Ballroom. Years ago, this was the gentleman's parlor. The men to know in the city would come here to network, smoke cigars, and play billiards. The hotel had its own billiard table made by Brunswick Billiards, who even kept it in their catalog until the 1920s and advertised it as the Fister. You can still find the Fister design tables online today. The Rouge is about 2,800 square feet and a great location for welcome receptions or small dinners. It's rare to find a dining room that is comfortable for 100 people, yet still has the elegant feel of a classic ballroom. The Rouge is also the location of our traditional Sunday brunch that is open to the public. Let's make our way over to the Fister Cafe, which proudly serves Starbucks coffee. It is open for breakfast and lunch daily, with a grab-and-go cafe counter for a quick breakfast and a fresh cup of coffee. From here, we will take the elevators to some of our guest rooms. Here we are still in the historic section of the hotel. Notice the high ceilings as well as the curvature of the doors. Years ago, our guests would place their laundry and shoes in the door from the inside and our staff would take the laundry to get washed and the shoes to get shined. Although we don't use this service anymore, our guests appreciate these classic architectural features. This is one of our guest rooms, which features feather bed tops, deluxe well spa toiletries, laptop sized in-room safes, desks, snack trays, makeup mirrors, docking stations, and more. You can see that the Victorian rooms have been renovated, but have kept the essence and feel of a historic hotel. Here we have one of our 82 suites. Along with the standard guest room amenities, the suite includes a large parlor area that allows your attendees to work or relax, plus a separate bedroom area. We will now make our way to the seventh floor where we find our diverse meeting and event spaces. We will stay on the historic side of the building and eventually make our way to the tower side. Welcome to the Imperial Ballroom. Once called the Fern Room, 
This space was home to the hotel's original restaurant. Here you'll meet Mohammed the Lion, who watches over this historic room. Back in 1899, President William McKinley came to Milwaukee to give a speech to the Merchants and Manufacturers Association. We have a picture of this event in our executive conference room. What makes that event so special is that he brought with him his entire cabinet. Milwaukee became the capital for that one day. The Pfister Hotel has had the pleasure of hosting almost every president since McKinley. Our groups really enjoy this ornate room and the large windows. The Imperial Ballroom is approximately 6,100 square feet and can seat up to 250 guests in several different settings. The Imperial West area, divided by French doors, is great for continental breakfasts, breaks, and lunches. Our staff can quietly close the doors and refresh this area without disturbing your group. It's also a convenient space for an impromptu breakout if needed. Attached to the Imperial Ballroom by air wall is our King's Row. It is one large room totaling 2,600 square feet that can be divided into four smaller rooms. This gives you the flexibility to change your space as needed. Most groups really enjoy the warm natural lighting. Heading down the hallway, we come across the Mirror Room. It is ideal for higher-end board meetings or small breakout spaces. Its location on the west side of the hotel gives it more privacy for attendees. Guests are seated comfortably at the large permanent conference table with these comfortable high back chairs. They are wider than standard banquet chairs to ensure that each guest will have ample space at the table. As we cross through the foyer, you'll notice the break in the wall. The tower was added in the late 1960s, and this is where the two buildings connect. Aside from this split, it's a seamless flow into the tower. So, we have the Imperial on one end of the floor adjacent to King's Row, and the Grand Ballroom on the other side with the Hall of Presidents. Our foyer here is the ideal space for a continental breakfast, food and beverage breaks, or lunch buffets. The Hall of Presidents, similar to King's Row, can also be used as one large space or four separate spaces. The Hall of Presidents gives the same warmth that King's Row does with its floor-to-ceiling windows and gorgeous chandeliers. This is our Grand Ballroom. It's one of the largest ballrooms in the city and is host to most of the premier galas in Milwaukee. We've had various prominent guest speakers come through these doors, from Dick Cheney to Mario Andretti. You'll notice the full space of 8,900 square feet can be divided into three sections. This flexibility allows us to accommodate general sessions, breakouts, exhibitors, and meal spaces. Let's now make our way to the tower elevator that goes from the ground level to the 23rd floor. On our way up, we will stop to see one of our recently renovated tower guest rooms. This is one of our tower double rooms. What's wonderful about these newer rooms is that the design keeps that historic charm and comfortable feel, but adds in all of today's modern conveniences. There are no inner corridor rooms, which means every single room has this great bay window with a stunning view of either Lake Michigan or the city of Milwaukee. A luxurious palette of pearl, black, silver, and chrome makes the perfect canvas for all of the modern-day luxuries a discerning guest could expect in the historic and regal atmosphere of the Pfister Hotel. From from our tower guest rooms, we can make our way up to the 23rd floor. Welcome to Blue. Known as the Pfister's 23rd floor gem in the sky, Blue is one of the most popular martini bars in the city of Milwaukee. With classic cocktails, sassy martinis, and an expansive wine selection, Blue is the perfect place to spend your evening sitting back, relaxing, and unwinding. Just on the other side of the floor is the Pfister Club Lounge one of the newest additions to the hotel. With an atmosphere similar to a home library, the club includes a fireplace, bookshelves, comfortable seating and workstations for individuals and small groups, complimentary Wi-Fi internet access, printers, and televisions for monitoring the day's events. Pfister Club Lounge guests can enjoy breakfast each morning, which includes a variety of chef-prepared hot dishes, assorted fruits, pastries, breads, cold cereal, coffee, juice, and more. 
Plus, snacks and beverages are available throughout the day, along with hors d'oeuvres in the evening. A club attendant is also on hand to assist, providing the high level of customer service that our guests are accustomed to. The last stop on our tour is Mason Street Grill, a classic American grill serving high-quality wood-grilled steaks, amazing sandwiches, and house-made desserts. With comfortable booths, a welcoming staff, and a warm atmosphere, you're invited to settle in and stay for a while. No matter the occasion, Mason Street Grill is happy to customize your next gathering. From intimate parties of eight to business functions of up to 60. Our three private dining rooms offer flexible space for groups of all sizes. This concludes our tour of the Pfister Hotel. We appreciate your time and look forward to welcoming you in person. Thank you for touring the property. I hope you consider us for your program. If you have any questions regarding our facility, please feel free to contact me. Thank you so much.